Hi guys, right this is going to be a very quick tutorial video. Basically the last two videos I've made I've been using Ultrabeat uh, for my drum sounds and rather than using the preset drum kits that come as standard with Logic I've made my own um, by dropping in my own samples into Ultrabeat and I had a comment from Jan Jangalaga, excuse me hang on. So. I had a, a comment from a uh, YouTube user Jan Jangalaga Jangalaga I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce that Jangalaga Jang anyway thank you for the comment basically just asking how do you upload the samples to Ultrabeat so I thought I'd make a very quick tutorial and show you how to do that if anyone else is wondering the same thing okay so let's start from scratch okay logic pro let's go to new and yes, we want a software instrument, create. Okay, now it defaults to the E piano. So if we click on here, come down to Ultra Beat Drum Synth, and then we can choose either the stereo or the multi output, uh, depending on how you want to use it. Um, let's go on the multi output, just for argument's sake. Um, I may show you just how to quickly set that up so that you can send the different sounds out to uh, separate tracks and process them separately. Okay, so in Ultrabeat, uh, if we go to this drop down menu here where it says factory default, and we can come down and go into the drum kits, and we have all of these uh, presets that we can choose from. However, if you want to load in your own samples, if we choose this one here, the drag and drop samples, and it will basically load you up with an empty preset. So there's no sound. This is where your sample would normally be loaded. So as you can see, there are no samples. It's empty. Now it's simple from here. Uh, we keep Ultra Beat open. If we go to the browser in Logic, uh, all files and then basically you just want to browse through your computer and find wherever you've got your drum sounds if you've got sample packs or if you've even made your own sounds which I have uh, let's just go to drums and uh, what's under percussion nothing okay <laughs> uh, drums uh, drums and percussion let's go into here okay I've got a lot of samples in here so let's just quickly throw something together let's look for okay we've got a snare okay for the time being it doesn't really matter what samples we use that one's alright uh, now depending on where you want to put these samples in ultra beat you can load them up in any order generally I tend to leave the first two or three sample spaces for kicks then I put my snares in, or ha uh, claps, that kind of thing. Then hi-hats and cymbals, and then generally any other percussion and any other sounds. So I'll tell you what, let's start with a kick. Let's work from the ground up. You don't have to do it in that order. It's just the way I like to, like to organize things. Okay, there we go. There's a kick. So from here, it's very simple. We just drag it and drop it in there. And now we have our sample in there. I'll just turn these reverbs off just so we're not. Okay, there it is. Now, if we want to add another sample, we need to select a new uh, piano roll key. And then we go to another sound, that one, and drop it in. And let's look for a snare quickly. Uh, God, there's a lot in this folder. Um, okay, snare. That's all right. We'll chuck that in. And if we quickly go to, uh, what would it be under symbols, maybe? Okay. I was looking for a single hit, but never mind, we'll just put one of these in. Okay, you can be quiet now, thank you. And from there, you can use you can use Ultra Beat in the normal way. 
So let's just have a listen. And there we go. Obviously, there's some quite horrible sounds and I probably wouldn't normally choose those. But for the purposes of demonstrating this, um, they'll do. So that's how you load samples into Ultrabeat. And from there, you can build up your own drum kits, which um, there's nothing wrong with using the presets. The only problem is that after a while, you do get familiar with the sounds. And it's nice to be able to build your own kits and sort of develop a sort of a personal sort of unique sound. Um, and yeah, uh, so very quickly, let me just show you how you would, because we're using the multi output, um, if I want to send these sends to a different to different groups, I can process them separately. Uh, we'll choose because these are kicks I want to keep them in mono really so I'll go to subgroup 9 which is output 17 so that's my first mono output and do the same for the other kick the snare I will keep on output on a stereo output so output uh, subgroup 2 3 and 4 and then for the hats we'll go subgroup 3 outputs 5 and 6 if I go to the mixer there we go uh, what we need to do here, uh, in order to see those uh, separate subgroups, we simply click on the plus button. Now I've set up three uh, subgroups, so if we just click it three times, one, two, three, and we have three auxiliary channel strips. The only issue here is that uh, it defaults to the output coming from Ultrabeat. Now I set up the kicks on uh, on output 17 which was subgroup 9 I believe now to find that in here basically we come to this drop down menu here instrument 1 and there we go 17 and we should if I if I play this there we go and we're getting the kick now on this one we want this for the snare which was uh, 3 and 4 there we go. And now I'll set this one up for the hats, which was five and six. There we go. And now we can process these separately. So we can chuck an EQ on. Oh, chuck an EQ. Let's uh, just EQ the kick a bit. All right. There we go. Let's. EQ the snare, cut out some of the lows, let's boost around 200, cut a little bit of the mid, boost some tops, okay, and on the hats we'll cut out all the lows, maybe we'll pan the hats, let's chuck some modulation on there, let's do some modulation delay or something, make them sound a bit weird. Okay. And obviously within Ultra Beat now we can pitch our samples. We can do the punchy drum secret. Put some go from there really there we go so that's how you load in samples in Ultrabeat hopefully that was a nice quick simple tutorial for you and uh, yeah stay tuned for another video hopefully I'll be back with you soon thanks guys